Hello everyone and welcome back to the Amateur Baker and welcome to day 22 of Baker Day in February. Today we are going to be doing another person picks out my recipe. That's not a real thing, I just made that up. Basically we're looking at the 200 Cakes and Bakes book. Today has been chosen by my best friend Philly and she chose page 194 which is a spiced marmalade cake which I keep calling a spicy marm cake um, when I was writing out the ingredients. One of them is um, chunky marmalade and I wrote it down on my shopping list as chunky marm and it made me laugh every single time. But I digress. The first step is to put in the butter, golden syrup, sugar and marmalade into a saucepan and heat it. So I have already done that. Got my saucepan here. It just nearly spilt that everywhere. The quantities is 125 grams of butter, 200 grams of golden syrup, 100 grams of caster sugar and two tablespoons of the chunky marm. Then you basically need to put those ingredients in with the dry ingredients. And they are 250 grams of self-raisin flour, 2 teaspoons of ground mixed spice, 1 teaspoon of ground ginger and a half teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Oh, I also have a tin that has been lined and the oven is preheating to 180. I think what we'll do is we'll pop that into the bowl first and then pour this on top. Oh, that cake smells good. Fucking hot. Add the milk and beaten eggs and mix until smooth. So in this lovely red mug here, I have 150 millilitres of milk. So I'm actually just going to mix that one in first, otherwise we'll probably have too much liquid. I think this might be a little bit too much mixture for this. Trying to do the eggs. This is a very runny mixture. It actually says after you've cooked the cake and it is um, all cooled, it does give you instructions for a topping, but I don't think I'm gonna do that because it just seems like a lot of work. <laughs> and I can't massively be bothered. I mean, we're on what, day 22 now. We've been, this is like what, the third week we're doing this? The, we're getting on a bit. But basically, if you did want to do the topping, you would have two thinly sliced oranges, 50 grams of caster sugar, 200 ml of water. Pop that all in a saucepan and summer it for 20, summer? <laughs> simmer it for 25 minutes until it's tender. Then it says remove the lid and cook for 25 minutes more until the liquid has been reduced to about two tablespoons. Add the marmalade and heat, marmalade. <laughs> My brain is moving faster than my mouth. Add the marmalade and heat until melted and then what you would do is let the cake cool, take it out of the tin, put that orange syrup candied concoction on top of the cake. But I'm not going to do that so it's basically just going to be like a ginger cake with some marmalade in it. But we're going to go with it. I think there's going to be too much. The tin is as full as I want it to go, otherwise it might start spilling out. So I'm actually going to do two cakes. Because why not? So I'm going to go pop this one in the oven, get another tin prepared, um, cook it all through, and then I'll probably be back when that is all done to check in on the final product. Okay, so I was checking over all the footage last night to obviously start editing this video. And... I had one clip for this video and it's me like making the cake. I don't have an outro and it's not in any other folder because I thought oh, I'll check over everything. I'll check the trash from my computer. I'll check the other days and I just don't have an outro. But then I was thinking about it and I was like, I can't remember filming an outro. So this is what we're going to work with. Basically, the cakes turned out really well, despite the fact that I put them into two separate cake pans and they should have been in one. It was very well received when I gave it to my friends. Obviously, the recipe called to put like candied apples. No, candied orange is or something like that on the top. 
with like a syrup and i just didn't do that spicy mom cake yeah it had it had oranges on top and i just couldn't be bothered to do that maybe if i did that i would have remembered to do an outro but here we are cakes turned out really well i don't have them to show here because i don't have them anymore <laughs> so that's it shambles i know like the video if you liked it and subscribe anyway we are in the last week of baker day now we've only got seven videos left so make sure you check out the playlist that will be linked below just in case there are any that you have missed or you want to catch up on and i will see you in the next one good <laughs>